I just got back from doing another long walk. This one wasn't as long as the one that I had done yesterday. I walked four miles today, but yesterday I went for a 20 mile walk. And this walk that I go on is at a reservoir that's near me. And one lap around this reservoir is equal to two miles. I just kept walking and counting the laps. Every lap was two more miles. So 10 laps comes to 20 miles. Today, I just did two laps, four miles. Yesterday, it was sunny out. It was also sunny today. And there was more clouds out today than it was yesterday. And it feels like it was a little bit warmer yesterday. Although it does say that the temperature is the same today. It felt a lot warmer yesterday. Or maybe it just seems that way because it hasn't been this warm since August of last year. And I was in the sun yesterday for about three hours and today it was only for about an hour. I didn't walk quite as fast as I did yesterday, and I had to work yesterday and today, and I stand pretty much all day while I'm at work, you know, eight or ten hours, and then after that, doing a 20 mile walk, um, my feet started feeling like they had blisters on them almost, but I checked in, they were fine, and this morning I felt okay and went for another walk. And I wish it was warm all the time. I really don't like winter. I just never feel that good. I feel tired and unmotivated and I just don't feel like doing anything. And then I just wait around for it to warm up so that I have the mental and physical energy to start actually doing things. Um, but other than that, everything's going good so far. I've been working on bigger drawings, and as you can see in this sketchbook, I think this one is 14 by 16 inches. Um, it, to me, it seems like it's a really big drawing, but I think it's just because I'm used to drawing in my smaller sketchbooks. And my smaller sketchbook drawings only take me between one to two hours, probably averages around two hours to complete those doodles. And this one took me quite a bit longer. I think it was maybe four hours, I think, to finish this doodle. And in this drawing, I used uh, an isograph technical pen. And I use the Muji fountain pen. And the technical pen is a 0.35. The Muji is, uh, I'm looking at it right now, I think this is a fine tip. I think so, yeah. And I went to do some doodling with it, but I couldn't quite do that because I had to refill it and put some ink in it. And with the isograph, I can draw really detailed, but with a fountain pen, I can be more relaxed with it. I kind of go back and forth between them, depending on um, what I want to make, what type of doodle I want to create. So, but uh, yeah, I've just finished up drinking some tea. I think I mentioned it before in a video that I bought some different types of tea. I got green tea, decaffeinated black tea, fire chai ginger tea, um, pomegranate maca tea, I think it's called. And I had the fire chai ginger tea today, along with some black tea. I kind of mixed them together. And I don't know how long you're supposed to steep them for, but I usually let them set for maybe like five or ten minutes. I'm really getting all the tea out of that, um, all the flavor. 
and then I just wait until it cools down, and then I drink the tea. Sometimes um, it seems like it just takes so long for it to cool down, I'll actually take the tea, and I'll just put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Um, although, I think a long time ago, once I did that, and it was in the evening and I was really tired. And then I went and laid down and the tea was frozen. The next day I went into my freezer because I had to get a bag of frozen blueberries. And I was going to add that to a shake that I was making. I was going to drink and open the freezer. I look inside and there's this frozen tea with the tea bag still in it. And I was like, well... I guess I'll try to heat this up again. So I heated this up again, and drank it, and it tasted really strange. It didn't taste that good. Um, and it was kind of, it was hard to get the tea bag out of there because it was like something happened to it because it froze. Like it was heated up and then it was frozen and then reheated again. So, so I, I, don't, I had to like, it was just, I don't know. It was just a weird flavor. Um, make sure I don't do that again. But if I do, I'm, I'm not drinking the tea the next time. I'll just leave it there and make another cup. Um, you know, tea is a lot cheaper than coffee. I mean, unless maybe you get like a, the cheapest tea possible and a 20 pound bag of coffee beans, but I think I actually prefer tea over coffee. I switched from drinking coffee to tea um, because I think there's more health benefits from tea. I mean, at least for me there is, it feels like, than coffee. I mean, coffee just seems like it's just nothing but a bunch of caffeine. Um, and then long term, I don't feel too great. But I've been doing better on the tea. Plus, there's, there's more flavors. Like with coffee, there can be all kinds of different flavors. and But it all kind of sort of tastes almost exactly the same, just about. Um, but with different teas I get, they all taste completely different. Like the pomegranate tea and the black tea and the green tea. and the, the uh, I have uh, chamomile tea and... Uh, um, fire chai ginger tea they all taste completely different but with coffee unless you have a dark roast coffee and a light roast coffee that seems to be the only way you can really tell much of a difference uh, they all just seem the same otherwise i mean other than if it's a dark or medium or light roast and i always prefer the dark roast coffee there's actually more caffeine in a medium roast or a light roast than there is the dark roast coffee. And I think that's because the beans are, um, what do they do to them? I think they like cook them or something. So when you cook them longer, it removes more of the caffeine. And so you get a darker roast. To me, it tastes better. When I had light roast coffee, even medium roast coffee, um, it uh, just, it didn't have much flavor to it. It was like drinking water. I mean, <laughs> medium or light roast coffee has less flavor to me than one tea bag that is like maybe green tea and a cup of water. Although that, that is pretty plain. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to drinking the dark roast coffee that I was used to that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that'll happen with tea. Actually, it probably won't. I've, I've drank green tea for, you know, many, many years. And uh, I haven't gotten used to the taste to where if I have a stronger tea, that the decaffeinated green tea loses its flavor to me. Um sort of like if you eat candy all the time you get used to it and then you start drinking sodas all the time you get used to having that and all the extra sugar and then if you eat like some vegetable or fruit 
It doesn't taste as sweet. Um, like for me, sweet potatoes taste very sweet. And I've, I've known people that eat a lot of candy or drink a lot of soda. And to them, sweet potatoes taste like nothing almost. Unless they add a bunch of sugar to them and butter and everything. Um, I actually ate, ate one yesterday. And I was so hungry that after it cooled down, I just peeled it and ate it by hand. I didn't add anything to it. Um, yeah. I think if you just get used to eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, then you kind of uh, get to where... I don't know, does something happen to your taste buds? Or does that have something to do with your stomach as far as like what you're eating and everything? I can't remember the exact names for all the different terms for it, but maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe so. But, um, yeah. You know, the one of the best feelings, I think, is if it's been a very long day. And, or let's say, for example, you've been outside for a while, and it's really hot out, and you're just sweating constantly. And you are so thirsty. And then you finally go home. And you've been thinking about it. And thinking about it. A nice glass of water. And then you drink it. And it is the best tasting thing ever. It is the most satisfying thing. But when you're not thirsty at all. It's just so boring. Hmm. I think some hot chocolate sounds good right now. The way I make my hot chocolate is I just take some milk, I put it in a cup, I heat it up in the microwave for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And then I just add cocoa powder, and then I just mix it, and then I drink it. If you want it to be stronger, if you add some butter and a tiny bit of salt, It'll make the make it taste stronger. Or maybe you could add coconut oil, butter, and a little bit of salt. And then mix it. I think that'd be um, a lot stronger flavor. I think maybe some people, when they think of cocoa, they think of like milk, heat it up, add like hot chocolate syrup to it. Unless it's just uh, chocolate syrup. That's not really... Hot cocoa. Um, hmm. A lot of people tell me that I eat very boring. Or have been told, why don't you eat real food? And I don't know. Uh, pretty sure vegetables and fruits and water is, you know, real food. Um, hmm. I think if I was to eat candy and stuff like that every day and soda, I think after a week I would just not be able to mentally think or something. I don't know what would happen to me. Maybe, uh, probably just lay in bed and feel horrible. That's probably what would happen. But, um, anyways, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the links below. And um, go to some of those and let me know if you want to buy any prints or anything. But until then, you all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully the weather gets better wherever you are. Hopefully it's warm and lots of sunshine. Anyways, I will talk to you all later. You have a great day. And I'm going to go make some more tea and work on more doodles.